Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Jerry Curls. So today I am going to be doing a perm rod set, which is something I have literally no experience in, like at all. Um, but I saw this uh, blogger, Hazel Goddess, um, do it and it looked really good and you can do it with creams yay so <laughs> i'm gonna do it with uh this cream of nature honey y'all know i really love the pure honey line <coughs> um curl activator and this is a really new product and i know it's new because i have every other <laughs> product by them and uh so i just washed my hair I use the Cream of Nature Honey with the uh, conditioner and the shampoo. And then uh, I also use the Tresemme um, protective conditioner and protective color shampoo. Uh, and I will attach a link to that video if you haven't watched that one um, in the bio. And then I deep conditioned with Auntie Jackie's. Um, Pure, what is this? Not pure. Coconut cream repair cocoa deep conditioner. <laughs> and um, I really like it a lot. I also have the buttercream in the same um, recipe. And they're great. So, this is what we're working with right now. So, let's get started. <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to do is gather my hair into a ponytail and then I'm going to take a parting comb, which I really didn't need. I didn't use it for the rest of the sections, but just for this first section to get like my first piece to begin with to start the perm rod. Um, so I got the orange ones and those are relatively small. So you should do like small sections. And I had like, uh, I believe like 22 to 25 in my hair. So I'm gonna go in with the Auntie Jackie's Quench Moisture Intensive Leave-In Conditioner. Um, and I'm just gonna put that on each small section. So then I'm gonna go in with my dimming brush and I'm just gonna brush out what I what product I did put in there. Um, and then I'm going go in with the Via Coconut Oil as um, a base coat before I do the cream. It's also known as the lock method, which could be liquid oil cream or leave-in oil cream. And that's typically why leave-in conditioners are so liquidy compared to like conditioner you would put, you know, in the shower. So the cream I'm gonna be using in my LLC is Cream of Nature Pure Honey. Um, I really like it. It smells really good and it's really easy to use. So I'm just gonna apply that to the section and rake that in as well. So now I'm gonna go in with my first perm rod set and um, you have to roll upward toward you. And with the product that you use, it should make the hair stay to the roller. So it shouldn't be that hard to get it to like roll. And then you take the band and you go across your roots. So wherever your root is, not the bottom, but the top where it would like fall down, you put it there. It's on there. It's on there, you know? Who's that? Let's keep going, you know? Let's keep the momentum. So now we're gonna repeat the same process we just did for the first piece of hair on another piece of hair. So you're gonna go from your ponytail and pull out a piece of hair. Um, I like to do ponytails for two reasons. One, it helps me work from the bottom to the top, which is really good for perm rod sets. Um, and then also because it helps me um, not get confused. If like all my hair was down and I was trying to roll just one piece, it would be really confusing. So this is freshly washed hair and I didn't want to necessarily um, keep adding water to my hair because that would just be more time than it is dry. So I'm just finger raking it through and trying to detangle it before I go in with the actual product. 
So I'm going in with the Aunt Jackie's Quench Moisture Intensive Leave-In Conditioner. I'm going to rake that in all throughout the piece. And then I'm going to go in with my dimmer brush and brush out the section. And I didn't show it, but of course the next thing I did was go in with the Cream and Nature Pure Honey Curl Activator and smooth and rake that in. And then I'm going to go in with the Perm Rod. And like I said, you're going to roll upward toward the root. And then just spread it out evenly as you roll it. And then you're going to take the band and put it across the top part of your root so that it stays. Because if you, put it, if you put it across the bottom, it won't stay. And if you watch this video, like, I definitely put all my trial and errors in here too. So you can see, like, why I redid them or why um, I feel like I had to keep touching it to make sure it wouldn't, you know, um, unravel and things like that. And like I said, this was my first time doing it. So um, I'm definitely very proud of myself, but I know that my technique was sloppy. So <laughs> you guys don't, you know, take this video to heart as like a professional perm rotter. I'm not at all. Um, I know there are YouTubers who do it and I'm, I commend them because this style is really hard. Like <laughs> it's a lot of uh, commitment for real. So pretty much the middle of this video is me just doing perm rods in different sections of my hair so you can see from different angles. So if you just want to see the technique and get used to the routine of doing it, you can definitely keep watching or you can just skip right to the end uh, to see what I use to dry my perm rod because I um, dried it under a bonnet dryer and then you can skip to the very end to see me taking down each one and my whole separation process um and what products i used for that and then at the very end i have a snapchat video of my results so you know if you stay to the end thank you for tuning in and watching and powering through <laughs> and but if you didn't thanks for tuning in anyway and you know go through some of my other videos and like and subscribe
So boom, I'm done. Here it is from the back. Um, so now I'm gonna go in with my Corel uh, soft bonnet dryer. So how it works is it comes out from the box. So there's a pocket that you pull to get the tube itself. And then there's a bonnet dryer that comes out from another pocket on the same side and it has like two jawstrings so you can make it however as tight as you want to fit around your head um and the hardest part really is probably just putting it on um and not trying not to like you know disturb the rollers and stuff but um it fits pretty comfortably and you know it gets the job done in like an hour so <laughs> period Y'all, I just took my first one down. Um, it's beautiful. That's all I need. It's beautiful. Hey y'all, um, I don't know why my camera is acting up. But I'm done from another dryer. So <clears throat> I'ma finish uncurling each one. So I'm going in with some coconut oil. And I have one more roller, I forgot, I felt it. Oof. I'm gonna just start with this one because it's dry. Thank you. 